Hey guys, Pete here. Today's Game of Thrones Season 8 video will be an Episode 5 preview and thoughts about where things are headed. We've got some new photos from HBO, we've had more time to think about what happened in Episode 4, and we've had more time to digest the few scenes that we saw in the trailer. Unfortunately for people who don't like spoilers, there's a lot of chatter about potential leaks going around. I've been seeing a lot of comments in the videos. I've had some requests from viewers to ask for you to not do that, and I would appreciate it myself. I have no judgment. If you want to look at leaks and wonder if they're correct or not, then that's fine. But some people don't. And when you post stuff in the comments, they see it and that bothers them. So be respectful. Obviously, I see that stuff because I delete the comments. Some of it looks like it might be right. Some of it looks like it's crazy. It's not going to influence how I make my videos. And I think that's all there is to say about that. So let's get into the video and speculate about what might happen in the next episode. So last week I made a what's next video and I talked about how I thought things might end after we found out that the Night King was defeated in episode 3. I'm going to pick up from there based on what we saw in episode 4 and the new material that's out that we can look at. It does look like we're setting up for the Clash of Queens. Cersei is positioned to hold King's Landing and Daenerys is in position to take it away from her. What I'm most interested in in this episode though is the stuff that's going to happen before the actual battle. This is an 80 minute episode and, and I don't think that the battle itself will take that long, maybe half when all is said and done. So I think there's going to be a lot of other stuff happening. Plus we know because Jon said that it would take a about a fortnight for him to march down that there's about two weeks in between the time they left Winterfell and when everyone will arrive and the battle will be ready to begin. Cersei is positioned to get ended in episode 5. I think her executing Masande created a situation that there is no possibility of her walking out of this confrontation alive. In last week's video I said I thought she would need to up her position by getting a hostage or having someone turn to her side of things in order to make her end a bit more compelling. But that doesn't look like it's going to happen. In Last of the Starks, we saw Jamie leave Brienne and head back towards Cersei. I talked about this in more detail in my episode 4 questions video, so you can watch that if you want more. But I do believe he's actually going back to be with her, like the director of the episode said, not heading to King's Landing to kill her. I think he's the hooded character we see entering the city in the shot of the Golden Company from the trailer, which would mean that he will be able to get to her. I could be wrong about that being him, but I do think he's still the most likely candidate of being a character we care about being on her side, for lack of a better term. Of course, I think there's a good chance he'll change his mind and could possibly end up killing her. I've been saying that for a long time. But I think him just being there and us caring about that is what we're seeing unfold. As far as her getting a hostage or someone becoming a traitor, I think that what we saw develop with Varys in the last episode doesn't leave much room for that. Varys and Tyrion are the most likely candidates to change alliances. And in episode 4, we found out that Varys is a traitor to Daenerys, but he's moving to support Jon. And that makes a lot more sense than him supporting Cersei. Tyrion, we saw him plead with her before she killed Masande. He seems to be more set up for making a mistake by trying to keep her alive rather rather than actually working with her. As for hostage, I don't think that's really in the cards at this point either. There was a time when I thought maybe she would get a hold of John, and we did get this photo that was released of Varys and John on a beach. They could be going to King's Landing. It doesn't look exactly like Dragonstone to me, but we also have photos of John out front on the battlefield, so I don't think that's going to happen. I think it is set up to be a showdown between Daenerys and Cersei. I think the wild card is that she has brought all these small folk into the Red Keep. Some people think there might be wildfire in there as well based off this image with the barrels. This may make it tough for Daenerys to get to her, but we do have all these people who are traveling to King's Landing, the Hound, Arya, and Jaime, who could get access to Cersei and take care of business. Since we brought up Varys, it should be said that I don't think he's going to live through this episode. I think if he approaches Jon and tells him he wants him to rule, then that's going to be bad for him. Plus, he's already told Tyrion. I think somehow or other his disloyalty is going to come out and Daenerys is probably going to have to deal with him before the battle even begins. 
For John, I think it's pretty clear what his ending is going to be now. I made a video a couple of days ago about that, about him leaving King's Landing and probably ending up in the real north. After I put that video out, I read a really good article about the same thing written by Joanna Robinson from Vanity Fair, where she went much deeper than I would be able to into the Lord of the Rings parallels. And at this point, I really do think that's going to be the end of John's story. However, that doesn't really say anything about what he's going to do in episode five. What's he going to do in this battle? I think he has to play a big part in that, but it's hard to see where that comes from. I mean, is he going to kill the Golden Company's Harry Strickland in combat on the field? Like, maybe, but do we care about Harry Strickland? Not really. We haven't even really been introduced to him yet. So yes, I do expect him to be out there fighting. I imagine that he will fight valiantly like he always does. Perhaps he can do something to save the common people that might be collateral damage. But it's really hard to say what he'll actually do in this battle that will be in line with his character. For Daenerys, they've set up the scenario where everything has been stripped away from her. She's down to one dragon, and we see from this photo that she is probably going to go through some low moments in the lead up to the battle. I still think she's going to die before the end of the story. I just can't let go of that idea. But it's also very clear that she's going to have to make a decision about taking the throne or stepping back and giving up what she wants, what she believes that she deserves for the greater good. I hope that she makes the right choice. Everything is completely stacked against her at this point. And I think a lot will ride on what happens before, like what we see go down beforehand. As I mentioned in my questions video, her getting pregnant doesn't seem as likely as it did at the end of season seven. I do think we'll have some moments with John and Daenerys where we see them work through what's going on as far as him having a better claim. But at least what we've seen so far this season, I don't see them coming out of the end of episode five as a couple. I could be wrong, but I just don't see that they've been pushing in that direction. Arya should be arriving in King's Landing not long after Jon arrives. I still don't think it's very likely that she's going to cross Cersei off her list, considering that she already killed the Night King. I do think that we'll probably see her take someone's face and use that to get in close get inside King's Landing. They haven't really used that this season and there's a lot of build up for that. So I think that we'll probably see that happen. I'm not sure who's or what's. I just know that I'm going to be like any scene that's inside of King's Landing. I'm going to be like, is that Arya? Is that Arya? The Hound will also be there, of course. I think he will end up confronting his brother and they will have their one-on-one -on -one battle. It does make sense. That is one of the character's motivating factors, at least in the show. And the mountain is Cersei's protector. So I do believe that those two will square off. On Cersei's side, we also have Euron and the Golden Company. The Golden Company just really seems like bodies to me at this time. You know, like she needed an army. She got an army. I'm not sure if there's really anything that's going to come of that, except for they're going to fight for her side. Euron will die, I think. I don't think there's many paths for him to get out of here. A lot of people think that him and his fleet will get burnt by Drogon because he killed Rhaegal. It makes sense. We did see that shot in the trailer. So there's definitely a good possibility of that. But I also think that Yara would want to take him out if given the chance. We don't know if she'll show up for this battle, but if she does, I think that would be a good ending if she gets to take him out. Another thing that people have been asking and commenting about is there being more dragons. This is not something that occurs to me at all. Like, I think that the position that Daenerys is in is whether she wants to use the dragon she has to take out King's Landing or not. Having more dragons doesn't really solve that problem. It just makes her more able to destroy the other side. So I don't think there's any chance we'll see any other dragons. I think that they made it pretty clear that the forces are equal here. So they have a bunch of anti-aircraft. She has a dragon. They have about the equal number of forces. Cersei has a castle. That's to her advantage. Like I said, there is a lot of ballista, but I kind of joked about it in the trailer breakdown, but it didn't come out that way I guess I think she can just take the dragon really high in the air and then swoop down like and avoid all of that so I think it's like she can destroy King's Landing if she wants she has to make the decision of whether or not to do that 
As far as the other characters in the North, Bran, Sansa, Brienne, Bran seems happy to sit it out. I don't think that he will play any part in this episode at all. Sansa, I think, will stay in the North. I don't think we'll see her arrive in King's Landing in episode five. It's definitely possible for the episode after, but I don't think those characters will play a big part in episode five. Brienne could come to the capital after Jamie, but I don't think it's likely. I think she's sworn an oath to protect Sansa. She is the there, their army is not, so I think that that's her place. I imagine that when Jamie left, she made peace with the fact that that's what he wanted to do, as he wanted to go back to Cersei, so I don't expect her to play a part in this either. So the stage is set. We have two queens. Both have had everything they love taken away for the most part. Cersei's lost all of her children. Daenerys has lost two of her children. She's lost the man that she loved for the most part. He's still there, but the relationship's on the rocks. She had her trusted advisor and closest friend beheaded in front of her at the end of the last episode. Varys is scheming against her behind her back. So it all comes down to how Cersei gets removed and what Daenerys decides to do as far as taking the Iron Throne through fire and blood or sacrificing that goal for the lives of all those people that Cersei put in between them. I think this episode will end when they kill Cersei. I'm not 100% sure how that's going to go down. Jaime could kill her. Daenerys could kill her. I don't think that Euron will be anywhere near her, so I don't think he's going to be the one to do it. I'm curious to see how Jon plays a part in the battle itself. Interested to see what goes down with Daenerys and her advisors before the battle kicks off. And definitely wondering if Cersei has something up her sleeve as a final F.U. if she's about to die. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is the second last episode of Game of Thrones that there will ever be. I think episode six will likely be the cleanup and then they'll figure out who's going to rule, how it's going to be ruled. We'll probably see some of the characters go away, perhaps Arya, definitely Jon, and we'll find out how Westeros will exist going on into the future. So let me know what you think in the comments. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for that. I will talk to you soon.